Hi guys, welcome back to 17 square meters garden. It is cold and rainy outside and it's been like that for a couple of weeks now. So I thought that would be a good opportunity to share with you some indoor project for a change. And I'm really excited for this one because we are going to be planting some really beautiful, very classic Christmas time plants. We are going to be planting both amaryllis and paper whites today. Um, there are many ways of planting them and even more ways of displaying them at your home uh, But today I want to show you my method which is really simple, really beginner friendly, easy to follow So hopefully you'll enjoy it Okay, so let's start with amaryllis bulbs. A few basic informations. First of all, I mean, we call them amaryllis, but the correct botanical name is Hippastrum. Uh, you can find them at the garden centers around this time of year. You can shop for them online. Obviously, online you will find a greater uh, choice of amaryllis bulbs. Um, and they vary in size and they vary in price. Uh, so the larger the bulb, the more expensive because the more flowers it will produce. So you will usually uh, see the size indicated in centimeters and that's the diameter of the bulb uh, and those really massive amaryllis bulbs, those 32 centimeters bulbs, they will produce about four to five flowers whereas these smaller bulbs will produce maybe one to two flowers. But that being said you can totally keep them from year to year uh, and then every year you can expect more flowers and sometimes as you can see here the bulb also produces uh, an offset that you can separate. This will not produce flower this year, but maybe in a couple of years, maybe next year, once it's large enough, it may produce a flower. So they are really worth keeping from year to year if you want to. Uh, sometimes you can also buy them in like a wax, a waxed uh, coat. And if you buy a waxed amaryllis bulb, there is nothing to do. You just place them, display them where you want them to be and you enjoy them. And then once it's done blooming, uh, you can try to peel off that wax if you want to keep the bulb, but most people just throw them away and buy new fresh bulbs every season. Uh, I want to keep my amaryllis bulbs. So what I will do is once the bulb is done blooming, I will cut the spent blooms off and I will keep the foliage, treat it as a house plant. And then once the risk of frost has passed, I will place them on my balcony, uh, let them recharge and then I will force them into dormancy and bring them back again around this time of year next year to enjoy them during the holiday season. Uh, so amaryllis bulbs, once you buy them, you don't have to pre-chill them or they don't need any cold dormancy because in their natural habitat they don't really experience cold winters or cold temperatures, so um, there is no need for, for pre-chilling. You can just plant them directly. If you buy many amaryllis bulbs, uh, what you can do is you can plant them in a succession. So every week or every couple of weeks, you can plant some bulbs, you know, to have continuous blooms throughout uh, winter. Uh, so. Now let's plant some of these amaryllis bulbs. I'm gonna be planting all of them in the potting mix because as I said, I wanna keep them from year to year. And this way it's easier because they are already planted. There's nothing that I need to do afterwards. I just, as I said, you just cut the spent blooms off and you leave the bulb in this container. But you can totally plant them, well, place them in water. If you're gonna grow amaryllis in water, then you just want the bottom of it to be uh, touching um, the water. You don't want to submerge the whole bulb because then there is a risk that the bulb will rot. Uh, so for me that's a little bit uh, higher maintenance because you all the time have to keep the water level, make sure that the, the roots are not drying out, that the roots all the time have a contact with water. And here, you know, in the soil, I find it to be a little bit uh, easier or less maintenance. Okay, so that's how the amaryllis bulb will look once it arrives. What I like to do is I like to trim a bit the roots. I mean, you could leave those fleshy uh, roots, but at least remove all the dry or dead looking ones. And then what I also like to do, I like to peel off that outer layer. I like the bulb to be clean. At least I know that there's no rot or anything inside of it. Sometimes when you buy your bulbs, you will notice that they have some red spots or red discoloration. This could obviously mean that the bulb is sick, that it has red blotch, but with amaryllis bulbs, it's not unusual because when uh, the bulb gets just slightly damaged, it produces red pigment. Uh, so as you can see here, there is an area where we can see that the bulb was damaged a bit and there's that red discoloration around it. So. Uh, in my opinion, that's just the, but the bulb's reaction to the wound. As I said, it produces red pigment uh, when it gets wounded. So I wouldn't necessarily worry too much about it. 
Okay, so now for the choice of container, if you want to grow amaryllis bulbs um, from year to year, so if you want to keep them this, this time, uh, I would recommend choosing quite a large container, but at the same time quite narrow. I couldn't find just the perfect one at the garden center, but uh, I found this one on my balcony. So you would, like, you would want to choose a container that will have enough um, room for the amaryllis roots, but at the same time it would be perfect if it would be slightly more narrow at the top because amaryllis bulbs don't like to have a lot of room around them. You would want to choose a container that is just slightly larger in diameter than the bulb, maybe like 2-3 centimeters maximum on each side, uh, that would be perfect. For example this one here is quite a nice size, that's exactly what you would want to go with just slightly larger than the bulb itself. Um, so I'm gonna be planting these bulbs in plastic pots because then I'm gonna put them in something more decorative. This one is already planted in terracotta pot. Um, but if you wanna grow amaryllis just for the season, don't bother with any of that. You can plant them pretty much in any container that you want because you won't be growing them for a really long time. So you can go even with a small container. Just keep in mind that amaryllis bulbs produce really large, really tall bloom stalks. And if you have a larger bulb like this one that will produce probably about three flowers, those flowers are really heavy as well. So you need a container that will be stable enough um, or you will need to place them in a way that you know the plant will not tip over because it's gonna be really top heavy. Uh, so it's a good idea when you plant amaryllis bulbs to also think about some support that you will need, maybe some twigs, maybe some bamboo branches, maybe some you know, uh, plant uh, support things, uh, because it will become really top heavy. So I'm using just a classic multi-purpose potting mix with added perlite and some warm castings. So I'm making a little hole in my container, just put all the roots in, I mean, it's slightly larger. And then I'm just gonna place the bulb inside of it. Make sure that all the roots fit. Something like that. We're not gonna bury the bulb. We are just gonna cover a little bit here to make sure the bulb is stabilized and it's not gonna fall later on once the blooms arrive. Okay, and then the second one. See, I'm planting them just uh, to what we call shoulders of the bulb. This is the neck of the bulb. These are the shoulders of the bulb. So you could plant them just slightly deeper, but don't go anywhere higher than this. If the soil arrives to the neck, then you, when you're gonna water, there's a risk that the water will enter inside the bulb and cause it to rot. So better to plant it slightly more shallow than too deep. Okay, so the two are planted. Now I'm gonna try to find some more decorative pots and then we're gonna top dress it so that it looks nice. Okay, I have these two pots, not sure if they will fit. Well, not really. Well, this one fits in this. A little bit deep, but... Well, I guess I will need to find another pot. But anyway, uh, maybe let's switch this with this that will be better yes okay just need to find another pot for this one um, so now to make it look more pretty so that we don't see the soil around you can top dress them with anything that you like pretty much uh, here i top dressed with some moss you can use the preserved sheet moss you can use sphagnum moss uh, you can use pine cones whatever you like so once they are planted you will obviously want to water them they don't need um, a lot of moisture but you will want to water them at least once a week uh, depending on the size of your container you may need to water a little bit more often uh, if you keep them in those very small plastic pots then obviously you will want to water them a little bit more frequently but if they are planted in a large pot uh, about one cup per uh, per week and when watering avoid wetting the bulb itself water around it uh, making sure that the water doesn't enter inside the bulb 
Amaryllis bulbs should bloom somewhere between six and eight weeks after planting. Uh, at this point you will want to place them in some bright location. Uh, you can place them on a heating mat or on radiators. They will really enjoy that and it will boost them. They will grow a little bit quicker. But once they start to produce flower buds, you will want to remove them from that heating mat or from those radiators and place them somewhere cooler to enjoy blooms for a longer time. So now we just have to wait, water from time to time uh, and hopefully we'll enjoy some beautiful flowers around Christmas time. Okay, so now paper whites. Paper whites are a type of daffodil, a type of narcissus. They are often referred to as indoor narcissus um, because unlike the classic daffodils, the classic narcissus that we plant in the garden, those need cold dormancy period in the winter in order to bloom in the spring. And most of those outdoor daffodils they are pretty winter hardy, they can tolerate frost, they can tolerate really uh, cold winters outside. These guys are not frost hardy, they do not tolerate cold winters, so you can't grow them outside unless you garden in a slightly milder clim climate. Um, that's why we grow them indoors and I think that's a, such a fun project uh, to do indoors when there's not much to do outside in the winter. So. Because they can't tolerate cold temperatures, they also don't need any chilling period, they don't need any cold dormancy. You buy them, you plant them, you enjoy them four weeks later. And just like with Amaryllis, you can grow them in water, you will just need to find some cute dish, uh, place some pebbles or something like that and place your, um, uh, your paper white bulbs inside of it. You want just the bottom to be touching the water, so just the bottom of the bulb. Let me show you. You would want just the roots to be touching the water. Uh, you don't want the whole bulb submerged because then the bulb will rot. And as you can see, they started to sprout already. So that's perfect. We are going to plant them right away. Okay, so I'm going to be planting my paper whites in this wooden crate. I've used it many times for seasonal compositions. I really like it because I, uh, originally I wanted to grow them in water, but I couldn't find any um, cute dish to display them, any vase or any container like that. So, soil it is. Uh, again, using multi-purpose potting mix with added perlite and some worm castings. Uh, and I'm gonna be placing them very close to one another and I'm not burying them either. I'm just placing them on the surface uh, and you can plant them very close to one another. The spacing doesn't matter because this is just gonna be a seasonal display. And the fun thing is that when you grow them in water, you can actually keep them really short because paper wise they can grow quite tall. Um, but if you grow them in water, you can water them with an alcohol solution, like 5% alcohol solution, and then they remain very short, which is a really fun thing that I want to try, uh, maybe another time. Uh, and one thing about paper whites is that they are a bit stinky. Some people are very sensitive to that smell, to that fragrance. Uh, some varieties are more stinky than others. So if you are very sensitive, you may uh, want to buy those that are less stinky. I chose Paper White Ziva. They have a rep their reputation of being very stinky, but these were literally the only ones that, um, that were left, but that's okay. I don't really mind all that much. So let me show you what I'm doing here. As you can see, I'm just placing them, making sure they are nice and stable. Uh, but as I said, um, they are going to grow quite tall, so it would be a good idea, uh, just like with Amaryllis, to stake them. I've seen really cute ideas online where people uh, even plant like grass seeds around them um, and then they place some very beautiful twisted twigs and it looks like just like a really beautiful like sort of woodland composition. So there are definitely lots of fun and creative ideas to display them. Um, so yeah, me, I'm going to be planting, I think some, I'm going to be placing some uh, pine cones around them and then I'm going to put some twigs or some evergreen branches later in winter, in December, uh, so that it looks Christmassy. So they should bloom in about four weeks. As you can see, they already started sprouting. So that's awesome because that means they are already ready to go. Okay, so now I'm going to be placing some pine cones to cover the bare soil to make it look more Christmassy. Hopefully this works. Uh, as I said, the paper whites should bloom um, 
somewhere between four and six weeks after planting. Uh, you don't have to plant them all at the same time. If you have more bulbs, it's a good idea to plant them every week or every couple of weeks to have a continuous blooms to enjoy during winter indoors. I think that works. Uh, I should probably go on my balcony to find some smaller pine cones. Okay, let's go out really quickly to find some pine cones on the balcony. Okay, so it is cold and rainy outside, as I said, so let's just quickly grab a few pine cones. I have a supply of pine cones because whenever I go in the mountains, I always bring a bag full of pine cones home with me because I really love using them. Uh, they are just such a fun thing to use in many projects, especially right now around Christmas time. Okay, so this is how it looks. I'm not sure if you can tell because both the pine cones and the bulbs are brown, but I left some space for the bulbs to sprout. Okay, so now I'm just gonna water gently. I'm not adding a lot of water because the container doesn't have drainage holes. So I just want to moisten the soil around the bulbs and I'm gonna do it probably once a week. I'm gonna check the soil by, you know, sticking my finger into the soil, checking if it's wet. If it feels wet to touch, I'm not gonna water. But once the soil slightly dries out, I'm gonna add a bit of water. Okay, so it is all planted. Paper whites should bloom for me probably at the beginning of December. Um, and amaryllis should bloom around Christmas time because they take a little bit more time to grow and bloom. But that's okay, I will enjoy them at any time of the year, whether that's before Christmas or after Christmas. If you have never tried amaryllis or paper whites before, I highly encourage you to give it a try because it's a really fun and easy indoor project that you can do during those colder winter months when there's not much to do outside in the garden. I uh, hope that you found this video interesting and helpful. I'm hoping to post more indoor videos this winter. Let me know if that's something that you would like to see, maybe some houseplant videos, some tutorials or some other indoor projects. If you have any ideas, they are always welcome. Uh, but for now, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for participating in this project. Um, and I'll see you again next week with another balcony or indoor gardening project. Bye.